Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 University World Adventures here. We're here with Braylon and the family. Braylon is going to be heading out in this episode, so you know. Uh, she's going to grab some dinner, which is the leftover billa blah, 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 whatever, however you say that. I can't even say it, and I'm not going to try because... <sighs> That's just who I am. Okay, um, Gustav is upstairs emptying out the potty. He's going to grab some dinner. Brenna is headed off to bed. I think the other chillins are already in bed, and the boys are playing with their xylophones upstairs. The little cutie patooties that they are. <laughs> um, so here they are. Um, we have Brett and Trenton. Trevor. Trevor, right? Trevor. That was great. All right, uh, they have about two more days, so we really need to get them leveled up in whatever they need. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Braylon, and I'm just going to click on the boys and see what they still need to learn. That's pretty much where I'm going to go with that. So he doesn't need to learn anything. He's actually good. And I think, who do we need to potty train? Oh, okay, both of the boys still need to learn to potty. Uh, what about Brett here? He needs to learn to walk, and that's it. So that's good. All right, Gustav. Did he not empty these? Oh, he did. He did empty them. He's a good man. All right. Oh, she passed out. Poor girl. I feel bad for her. All right, let's go ahead and get her to sleep. And she wakes up off of the ground. You know, that's got to be the worst place to fall asleep. It's raining out, so, you know, she's got to be getting soaking wet. Poor girl. Okay, let's go downstairs. Get Braylon to eat, because she's really hungry. So eat some of this. We need to clean that counter as well. Antone, Antoine, or whatever that said, was aged up. All right, to clean this when you're done. And then I think we're going to let... Hopefully we're going to get one of these two to teach the boys what they need. And I think it might be Braylon because she's got a little bit more sleep. Um, but I'm going to try and get Dad to potty train Trevor one more time. Since he doesn't need to learn to walk or talk, he's got to be really close on the pottying. I'd like to finish them before we head off back into Egypt. So potty train Trevor when you're done. I mean, they can do this. This is not like a big deal. But I really want the three you know, big ones completed, like walking, talking, and pottying, obviously. So I'd really like them to finish that first, mm -hmm. if they could, and then go from there. And he needs to be fed as well. Okay, so when you're done potty training him, then you can go ahead and put Trevor in the high chair, and that way we'll get both of those things completed. Let me just speed you guys up a little bit. Okay. Phew. Lots to do, lots to do, lots to do. Okay, is he going to really clean up? He is such a good man. I love him. All right, and she's going to clean the counter. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. So, in the last episode, someone had commented, I don't remember who, but someone had commented and said, one of the boys was not done with the pig box. We're going to try this. I know that... Oh, I should have put that away. That's okay. I know that Brett is done with it because up in it, so we're good on that. So I'm going to see if Brett can come over here and just play with this and see if it was him or if it was Trevor. I really can't remember, and I'll figure it out, I'm sure. Let me just see if it was Brett. One of them, they said that it popped up, like, and I had canceled them out, and I didn't realize it popped up, like, late. So I'm going to let him try and play with this and see what he can do with it. If he gets the thing over What the heck? If he gets the little bar over his head, we'll know it was him. But if not, then we know that it's Trevor and it's no big deal. Okay, I'm going to get you to go upstairs since you clean that now. I think this kid needs to be fed, so let's put him in the high chair and feed him. All right, let's put him in this one. Put in high chair, Brett. There we go. We'll get mom and dad to take care of the boys. It is 3.40 in the morning. Oh, my goodness. Why do I have these people up so late? Who knows? Okay, so dad's going to potty train and then feed. Mom's going to feed. This way we get all this done at one time. You know, be quick. A cookie. Okay, mom's got him. Take him downstairs. Dad, let's get you to potty train this child. I don't know if he'll potty train because he is so hungry. So we might just have to, like, you know, just, just not potty train. Potty train. Alright, so let's get her to give him some food. 
Okay, give him baby food. And then, ew, this is disgusting. Clean this toilet, please. She should be giving you food, so you shouldn't be screaming. Oh, he is really close. He may finish right now. That would be really nice, actually. I'm really hoping he finishes, at least. I don't really see it moving, though. Oh, yes, I do. Never mind. Yay! So Trevor is potty trained. Okay, go ahead and use that now that you've cleaned it. And he just potty trained him, so that is amazing. I'm excited about that because when you get potty training done to me, it's like a weight lifted off my shoulders, to be honest. Okay, pick him up. Please tell me you're going to pick him up and not try and go downstairs with this. Oh yeah, you're going to pick him up. Good man. Speed it up, speed it up, speed it up, speed it up. Get the baby fed. Okay. Let's get mom to potty train him. Oh, she doesn't have... It's not classified in her arms yet. All right, go ahead and potty train Brett. And then we'll get her to put Brett in the crib because I think he's pretty much ready for bed. This way we're getting two things done at once. All right, let's get this baby in here. Once it says he's out of your arms. Okay, go ahead and give him baby food. Then go ahead and use mom. How are you doing on this? He doesn't look like he was he's as close, so he'll probably take an extra one like one more time, but that's okay. Okay, and then go ahead and put um Brett in the crib. Okay. And dad. We'll get you to take care of Trevor in just a second. It will be Brett's birthday in a few days. Okay, and also Trevor's. All right, nice. All right, let me pause. Is Trevor done eating? Just about, so I'm gonna tell Dad to put Trevor in the crib. There we go. And let's see, we need to get the kids taken care of. So she really needs a shower. So I'm gonna get her downstairs. I'm gonna let her use and shower. You really could use the bathroom. So go ahead and let's use and take a bath. And you need the same thing. So I'm going to let you use mom and dad's. Okay. There we go. Let's get you up. Don't want you sleeping any longer. You all need to get on up. Get on up. All right. Speeding you up. So everyone is moving. Moving quick. We're moving fast. Okay, Dad, are you taking care of him? You are. You're such a good guy. All right. Um, school bus will be here at 8. Okay, the kids are taking care of themselves, so that's what matters. Okay, once Mom and Dad get them in bed, I'm going to let Dad go to bed. And I'm, once the kids leave, I'm probably going to have Braylon head back out to Egypt. All right, Dad's got him in bed. So, Dad, why don't you come over here and go to sleep? And I'm just going to let her take a nap while I wait for the kids to head off to school. And then we should be good from there. Oh, poor Gloria didn't get her shower or her bath or whatever, so that's horrible. But I think the other two did. She's definitely in there. All right, I'm going to have to get you out so you can get to school. How is this going for you? Come on out of the shower. They're hungry, but they'll feed them at school, so that's why I wasn't worried about getting that as much. All right, so he's on his way. She's on her way, and she should be on the bus. She is. Meet new friends. Okay, I'm just looking to see where everyone's at. All right, let's see. He skipped school on a field trip day. No, he didn't. Meet new friends. 
You go ahead and you can meet new friends. All right, I am going to get her up. I'm going to get her downstairs. We need to accept the gifts before we leave so that before I leave, I'll save and then I'll travel over. You know what I mean? All right, so let's let her get the mail. Let's let her go ahead and accept gifts from a friend and then we should be good. Um, okay. They've announced they're expecting a baby. That's Theodora Hale and Chemo Hale. Okay. Let's blow this down. All right, we'll take the gifts, and then I will go ahead and, uh, we'll take the gifts, and then I'll go ahead and accept gifts, or send her out to, um, back to her adventures. So this will be good. And when she gets here, I think all of her needs will be maxed anyway, so we won't have to worry about energy, and that's why I wasn't really worried about getting her out of bed, because I figured once we get home, you know, they'll still be sleeping and stuff, so it'll be fine. All right, this is for Teen Runaway, which I just recorded that the other day. Shoot. And my thing wasn't working for some reason. It was saying there was no gifts in here, and I knew there was. See? Jerky faces. All right, this is from Abby2193. It's a message from the game. I'm going to go ahead and take it here. And we just got a chess set, so thank you so much for that. Let me go ahead and send you back a gift. Let's see. Here we go. All right, so thanks for the chess table, for Braylon in my university slash world adventures LP. Okay, and I always put an exclamation point. I'm not really sure why, but I just do. All right, so let me go ahead and copy that. So that is great. Thank you so much for that. That is a really great gift. I'm sure that we can absolutely use that. So that'll be great. All right, here we go. Lots from Abby. As for Hybrid Baby, this is from Road Iron One. It says, here you are. Well, thank you so much. We just got the Jar of Potent Friendship. So thank you so much for that. That is great. Let me go ahead and send you back a gift. Here we go. Let's go ahead and get it. Click what I'm going to send you. Okay. Um, so, thanks for the jar of, whoops, that's not what I meant, potent friendship. All right. So, thank you so much for that. Um, that's for Hybrid Baby. This is from Hockey Bell. It says, here's a special gift. Hope it's useful. Well, thank you so much. And we just got the Modern Orchid, which I love this thing. I think it is beautiful, and we can absolutely use it to make our house even better than it already is. So thank you so much. Let me go ahead and send you back a gift as well. Here we go. So thanks for the Modern Orchid. All right, so thank you so much for that, and moving on up. Um, did I take from any Amy? I thought it was. Okay, well, it's for hybrid anyways, but. Um, this is from Mailing How. It says, hope you get something that is useful, good, or worth a lot of money. Well, thank you so much. And thank you for the quick tick wall clock. I like to decorate with these. I think they're really cute, like in an office. So thank you so much for that. We can absolutely put it on the wall and, you know, admire it. Um, so that's great. So thank you so much. Let me go ahead and send you back a gift as well. All right, here we go. Thanks for the clock. All right. All right, that's for Seven Deadly Sims. This is from Friendly LOL. Thank you for the 750. Well, you're so very welcome. And thank you for the bubble bath. That is perfect. We can absolutely use it to help people calm down and stuff. That's, that's great. Uh, especially like the kids, I'm sure they would love it. So thank you so much. Or even Braylon, I'm sure would love it. So thank you. I love the bubble bath stuff. I think it's cool. All right, so thanks for the bubble bath. 
Um, this is from BNGN24. It says, hi, are you still doing YouTube? I haven't watched your videos in a while. I'll check up on it, though. Yes, I am still doing YouTube. I don't plan to ever stop um, unless, you know, something really bad happens or, you know, life gets too busy. But right now, my life is pretty simple and uh, I like doing YouTube. So thank you for going and checking it out. Um, sorry that you haven't been watching, though. Um, I hope that you can get back into the swing of things. Um, there's a lot of different LPs that I've been posting lately. Uh, and I've been having a ton of fun with it. So I hope you enjoy them and uh, definitely leave a comment to let me know. So thank you for the gift though. It's the Bracken Living Room Chairs. Thank you so much for that. And I am all out of gifts. I do apologize. Uh, this is for from, excuse me, uh, SimMany777. It says for the LP needing it the most. This is not needing it the most. So I'm going to hold on to that. All right. Um... Let's see. I think that's it. So thank you so much for all the gifts. Let me go ahead and uh, save. Um, well, yeah, we'll see. I'll save now and then I'll come back and I'll travel. Um, let me just show you what we're going to be doing. Uh, because if you guys are like, oh, you didn't show us that you traveled because I probably wouldn't cut back in for that because it would just be too much. Let me just show you. We're going to go and we are going to travel. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Um, let's see. Pull out your phone there, Braylon. Let's go. All right, so this window pops open again. And we're going to Egypt. We're going for eight days. We could go here, but I mean, we're done in China. So we're on Egypt now and we're just taking Braylon. That's it. It's going to cost us 1,750 simoleons, but we're going to get to stay for eight days, which is going to be really amazing. And that is what we're going to do. So I'm just going to X out of this so I can, you know, save and stuff. But that's what I'm going to be doing, and um, I'll be back when I'm done getting this all set up, and I'm loaded into Egypt, so I'll see you guys there. All right, so we are here in Egypt, and uh, yeah, so we're just going to jump right back, to in back into this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read you what we were working on. So it says, Braylon receives a phone call from Hassan Badawi, Badawi something like that. Uh, thanks for sending in the information. According to the data, the tomb of the desert ocean is an underground oasis, a vast source of water for centuries. You must survive its depths to find the relic of life and return it to me. This is Hassan Badawi signing out, or Badawi, whatever. Um... Okay, so we were at the tomb of, what was it? The tomb of the desert ocean. And I think this, I can't believe this is an I thought this was it. Okay, that is a little bit too much. Um, I don't know, maybe she's got to arrive first or something. I don't really understand why it's not really like... Um, yeah, I don't really understand why it's not giving us, like, where she has to go. That's great that there's 19 gifts. We just took gifts. Um, oh, maybe it's this one. Temple of the Queen. That's not it. Shucks, this is really hard. I really do forget where it is. Um... And all it keeps telling me is to come over here. Oh, because it's underneath their house, isn't it? Isn't it the one that's under their house or something? Come on, zoom in there. Thank you. Um, is it the one that's under their house? I don't know. Come visit this household. I think that's the best I'm going to be able to get her to do right at this moment. Because... I can't remember where we have to go, and it's not really like, I don't know, it's not really like saying anything other than, you know, the star being here. But I think that's because it's that person. It's not the actual, like, relic or, or the whatever. It just think it's really just, it sounds like these two are, like, romantic. Um, okay, he's our friend. I, I really don't think it's here, but we can look. 
But yeah, it's definitely not here. Unless I am like gotta open it again. But I really don't think so. I think it was somewhere else. Hmm. Ah, oh, this is so annoying that I can't remember where I have to go. Okay, I'm gonna try and find figure this out. Um I just don't understand why I'm not seeing it. Why I'm not seeing like where we have to go for this. I don't understand that. That's not it. Okay, it says According to the data, the tomb of the desert ocean is an underground oasis, a vast source of water for centuries. You must survive its depths to find the relic of life and return it to me. Saying it's the tomb of the desert ocean. What? Seriously? I'm going to waste all my time looking for this stupid tomb. And this isn't it. This is the tomb of discovery. Um, I'm probably like going right over it a million times and just oblivious. This is the pyramid of the sky. I swear, I've went over all these. Tomb of discovery. This is really frustrating that I can't think, remember where we were. Um, I wish I could click just like go to the tomb. But like where she is is where the star is. It's so weird. And if I click the star, it just like gives me like these things which the star is normally where you have to go okay maybe it is under their house then come use their bathroom and see if that helps I don't have a freaking clue and I'm gonna try my best Nearly. okay use the bathroom and see if that does anything Because I don't see it over his head either. Okay, I didn't see that do anything. Um, I am probably just like blind as a bat and don't see it. Oh, Leonis, are you kidding me? Like, this is annoying. Um,. Okay, come use this toilet up here then. See if that works. I have no idea what I'm doing. I feel so lost. Okay, I don't think that did anything. Um, Alright guys, let me pause and try and figure this out. I will be right back. Okay, so I had to google it where the tomb of the desert ocean is because it wasn't popping up for me and um it's at the pyramid of the sky or in the sky or something like that so i we're gonna head back over there um and i believe we were there at the very end of the last episode anyways i just couldn't remember which one it was in because the star wasn't actually there so that was really annoying anyways let's go ahead and get over here we gotta go find the relic of life and see what we can come up with here um so yeah it's over here it's this is i think the run to it um it's gonna be all over the place around here we're just i'm just zoomed out and speeding up a little bit so that she can get there a little bit quicker since we spent so much time looking for the freaking place and not actually getting into the place so this will be good all right, here we go. Oh, that was a good spot. We should have totally stopped and did that, but I really want to get her 
adventures beginning again. So let's get her to this place. Here's a camp. Oh my goodness, her and this bike thing. Bike and then run. Bike and then run. <laughs> or moped and then run, I guess we could call it. It doesn't really matter. Alright, here we are, I think. Oh my goodness, maybe not. Phew! Long run. Man, this is a long time getting here. <laughs> this is horrible. Horrible! Alright. Phew! Finally, here we go. Alright. She has just visited the Great Pyramids. She must remember the experience so she can tell her friends back home. Oh, Go through the door. Mm. What are you doing? Okay. And we were already in here searching. So, let's see. Oh, Billy Basilly. Where were we? Um... I think we were downstairs, to be honest with you. Oh yeah, here we were. Look at this. I don't remember what we were doing. There is another staircase down. Were we down here yet? I don't remember. Oh, yes, we were, because we opened this up. And... We went in here, I do believe. Come down here and open this. Let's just see if there's anything in it. She should be able to figure her way, I would think. Yeah, here she is. Perfect. Alright, and I think we have to go through this door next. So, there we go. I just want to see if there's anything in here. I'm sure, I think there might be. So in here is money bag, sarcophagus fragment, and one of the dropa stones. So take all that. Okay. Let's see. Is there anything here that I need to be worried about? I don't think so. All right, we're gonna go through this door. All righty then. Perfect. Here we go. So there is a little thing on the wall over here that we need to inspect. So let's look, go ahead and let her do that. And I'm going to check the rest of the, this room. And look at that, folks. Looky there. Alright, go ahead and inspect this side. This is a lot of electricity. <laughs> We may want to look like the Bride of Frankenstein, but not today. <laughs> not today. Alright, go here. I did not see anything else on this floor. Alright, go through the door. Okay, and in here, there is a door here that you need to inspect. Okay, and she's excited because she opened a treasure chest. That's fine. She can be excited about that if she wants to be. Okay, and I'm going to get her to eat an apple before she gets too hungry. So let's go ahead and get her to eat this. Alrighty then. There we go. Perfection. And I think the door is going to swing open. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's come in here. Let's clear this. Let's uh, pick up the mummified teddy bear. We will take the money bag. And we will collect this loot. All right. You can collect that. You can collect that. Alright. Oh, you gotta keep putting it down. Oh, you can't take the mummified bear with you. That's sad. I don't know why they'd put that in here if you couldn't take it. I mean, come on.
All right, let's see what we're getting. So we've gotten seven of five <laughs> Egyptian sarcophagus fragments, which we need to build that. We got a relic worth 22 simoleons, a money bag, and let's see what else. Um, another money bag. All right, nice. So let's go ahead and cash these in for 381 simoleons. Okay, go through the door. She was excited about that, wasn't she? Alright, that's fine. She can be excited all she wants to be. Alright, so here we are in this room. As you can see, it's a very big room. Um, I just zoomed out so you guys could see the whole thing at one time. Alright, starting with... Was there anything on the wall here that we were supposed to read? There wasn't. Okay. Um... Starting with just searching the walls just to make sure, you know, we don't have to do anything with them. Um, well, up to this point, I haven't found anything, so I think we're good. Otherwise, um, let's see. There's nothing here that I'm finding. All right. And I'm not finding any traps on the floor or anything. Ooh, there might be one there. Hold on. Oh no, it's this thing, because you can sit on it or whatever. Um, okay, well, this is exciting. This is not as exciting as I thought this room was going to become. I thought it was going to be a lot more exciting than this. I'm not going to lie to you right now. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and open this up. I didn't find anything on the way there. If she gets stuck in a trap, it's not my fault. You guys saw me check the room and nothing came up, so. Ooh. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What did that open? Oh, it opened this door. Okay. So we got the key of the heart, um, key to the heart of the water temple. We got a pile of turquoise gem and a plum bob cut alabaster. So go ahead and take all that. All right. Now I'm guessing traps have been enabled, so... We had best best be a little bit careful. All right, so let's get you to go here. I am gonna check this side just one last time, just to make sure that we're not missing anything because I really don't want to miss stuff. If you guys catching me missing stuff, please let me know. It would be really nice. All right, let's get you to go here. Go inside the door. Alright, perfect. So, let's see. Um, let's collect these. I'm not seeing anything on the walls. What was that? And inspect that as well. Um, which I think is going to open up this room here. Which is nice. We want to have lots. All right, we got 6,813 ancient coins, so that's cool. I do want to buy some stuff from the special merchant as well as soon as we can. Um, so maybe when we finish this, we'll go buy some stuff from him. All right, what's in here? We've got a... What's this? What is it? What is it? I love how this is behind there. Weird. It's really weird. All right, what was that? Hold on, I want to know what that was. It was a ruby worth 59 smolians. Nice. And you found another secret door. This is all kind of cool. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, let's use the stairs. All right, and how's she doing on everything? She's doing pretty good, actually. All right, here we are in another room that we have to figure our way out of. Alrighty then. Let me check the walls. Um, I just saw something pop up, so I know there's something here. Oh, it's this chest. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not really seeing anything, so I'm going to have her go open this and hope that I'm not missing anything.
Alright, so there is a sarcophagus of the king's fragment in there. So we will take that. Um, Alright, let's get you to use these stairs. This is going up really quickly. I'm a little bit worried. All right, go ahead and stand on this, and we've already been here. So, what did we miss? So we have not found the relic of life. Open that. Oh, it is opening. Okay. What was that key to again? I can't remember. The key was to the heart of the water temple. Is that what we got to do? Is go over there to that now? The water temple. Um. Or was it in this? Was it here? Like we had to put it in for this. Yeah, let's go insert the keystone. Wait, wait, wait. Where are you going? No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. You're going the wrong way. <laughs> go up here. Use this. Oops. And then use this. I thought she could to get this out on her own. Um, whoops, that was scary. Okay, let's get up here. Go here. Go ahead and collect that. Uh, we've already been through here. I know we have because we did all this stuff, so I... Go ahead and go through this door. Alright. Now let's get you to go here. Nope. 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 Swim. She's like, I am not doing this. Go ahead. Jump in. Jump in. There we go. Alright, now go here. Go here. Swim. And then go here. Perfect. Now insert the keystone. Alrighty then. That took a little bit longer than I expected. And I think before I move on, I'm going to have her sleep. So let's place this down. I'm going to place it right here. She can come on over here and sleep. Alright, and then when she's done, she can put this in her inventory. I guess I'm going to go ahead. Let me see how much time I have left. All right, we got about five minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out, and I'll be back when she's getting up for her day. Be back in just a second. All righty then. So Braylon is up again. Um, I'm going to get her to go back over here. I had her put the tent in her inventory again, and she just ate two apples for breakfast. So, well, yeah, it is breakfast time, isn't it? Oh, I thought for a second she was dying. I was a little bit scared there. All right, let's go ahead and go through this door since we've got what we needed for it. Alright, so here we go. Let's begin again. Alright, um, coming through here, I notice that we can click this wall, but there's nothing there. Okay, um, let's go ahead and inspect this, because I know there's a door there. Um, let's see, what else do we need to do around here? Okay, there's nothing there, so that's fine. Um, and I know there's the doorways over here that we need to go through, but for right now, let's just focus on this door, and then we'll go from there. Seat her up a little bit while she's investigating. She's such an investigator. Alrighty, then. Um, okay. Okay. So this literally just opens up this little tiny room here. It's nothing too much. Um, but it does have a treasure chest in here. 
So let's go ahead and get her to open the treasure chest because I'm not seeing anything here that's going to trap her. So hopefully there is nothing. I'm not going to promise something, guys. Again, so much stuff is happening. All right, we just got two Egyptian relics and a copper ingot. So let's take all that. We're greedy. We're greedy, Gus's. No, I'm just kidding. We're not greedy. We worked hard for that Shazam. All right, so I don't want to go through the door yet. I want to go through the archways. So let me just make sure there's nothing here. All right, let's go through this door. I like the middle. <laughs> I'm ready then. So, in here, if you look, let me pause for a quick second. It's a big pool of water um, and just these walls around it, which I'm guessing nothing can be on them because obviously you're not going to be able to stand in front of it to search it. So, Nothing is probably going to be in here for like door wise or anything. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to go over here. And I think we have to be really careful where we go. If I remember correctly. Okay, so let's get her to get over there. Let's go ahead and let's open this. I think this is going to get us in trouble, but I I don't know. I just had a bad feeling. So there is some ancient coins, a money bag, and a gold ingot in there. And take all that. And we need to inspect this. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull this far. Um, hold on. All right, go ahead and pull this far. Okay, now swim in here. And then go here. Shoot, I did that wrong. Go here. Okay, yes, timer. I hear you. Alright, swim. Go here. Okay, push this back. Okay, now go here. Now inspect. That's funny. All right, she found a money bag. Okay, perfect. Now, I don't know if we have to push those back, so let me just see. Hmm. I don't think we do. I don't know. Anyways, guys, while she's done with this room, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I think it's a pretty good spot to end. Uh, we did some adventuring. We, you know, leveled some sim some of the toddler's, you know, skills up and stuff. Anyways, so if you guys like this, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Also, feel free to follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Um, also, there's a donation link in the description below, so if you want to donate to help me get enough money to upgrade my graphics card for this computer and be able to put out higher quality videos, um, that would be great. But if not, then that is totally fine as well. Again, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Thanks very much for watching.